Welcome to part 10 of Democracy vs. Dictatorship Using City Skylines. And I'm sure you all have been waiting very patiently for me to get on with this episode, um, with this series, because I have to say, I haven't had as much time as I've wanted uh, to create stuff on my computer in simulation games. I have some other jobs. If you haven't been watching my Planet Coaster builds, which I find quite odd because most people watch those instead of this build, uh, you'll know that I'm a bit busy and I cannot quite uh, find the time to do as much work on my computer games as I would like. This is really for me to have fun. It's, it, you know, it doesn't really earn me money. It's just a bit of fun. So w I made this all quite a long time ago. It's, it's some old footage and I wanted to get rid of um, all the footage I had so I can focus on the next footage. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that's why this episode is just short of about 10 minutes long. And what will you see in this episode? You will see more layouts and placements, and I start to have a little bit of fun working out where the brutalist buildings will go, the residential blocks will go. Um, everything you see here, if you've been watching my builds before, you will know that everything you see can and might be changed at any point. It's a lot of experimentation, a lot of... Um, this and that, I don't know quite how to describe it, but I don't always keep things the way they look here, but it's just a sort of taste to see how I should do that. When, I, when I'm creating the city, I've realized that maybe I'm making it a bit too big, and I'm a bit dreading, I'm dreading the parts where I have to make the rural areas. Um, the rural areas are a bit more difficult with this game. I need to have a lot of assets to make that, and so what I have decided is, I will use what I have for now, and I will come back later when I've downloaded more assets. The way I have it right now, I think like it only takes about seven minutes to load. And when I've played this game in the past, before I started making Let's Play builds, it would take sometimes about half an hour to load. And it, it it's just not fun, you know? You don't want to start a game and get these ideas and you're all excited to play a game and then it's like half an hour to load. It's crazy. Um, that being said, it is worth it. It really is worth it. Um, and you'll also see me uh, really have a lot of fun with the Surface Painter. It's my new favorite feature, and until they create a new asset that's a, a new mod is as cool as the Surface Painter, I think I'm using it a bit too much. Um, but it's really useful, especially for the brutalist cities. Concrete is everywhere in North Korea, and in Russia, and in all these old Soviet places, you know. And it, it really adds that extra oomph. I think I'm using it a bit too much, but one thing that disappoints me about the Surface Painter is that there isn't a lot of ability to overlap the textures, and it doesn't quite look right. It, ha it comes very chunky and blocky, and I think that's by the nature of the way the game is designed. So I have to be a bit smarter about how I, I place everything. I also have to figure out more stuff I can add to the Rico mod. I really don't have a lot of stuff in the Rico mod. If anyone knows any way I can add stuff to the Rico mod, I would really appreciate that. So um, that's me blah blah blahing along as much as I can remember what I've done. It, it's really f uh, it, I did this about a few weeks ago. I haven't really had the time to upload and now I'm sort of forgetting what I have done. I think I like to feel <laughs> that it sort of speaks for itself. I, I, I can't really go on and on sometimes about my builds as much as I would like. I really try to record uh, my voiceovers for as long as I can but it gets a bit monotonous and I don't like repeating myself and oh maybe you guys like that I don't know maybe you want to hear me be very very angry or disappointed and what I've decided is that I'm gonna start making sort of let's plays of this park because it's a bit easier to explain to you guys what I am doing live so when I'm doing touch-ups when I'm doing a bit of detailing, instead of it having in time-lapse form, I might actually just do it live. I know a lot of Let's Builders, the Let's Players out there who play City Skylines tend to go for that effect a lot more. They'll start out and they'll explain everything while they're doing it, and then they'll just time-lapse the parts that are, you know, that no necessary explanation is needed. If you like that idea, if you want to see me do stuff a bit more live, uh, feel free to do that. I'm deciding though that I might not put the original game sounds with it. If that really is a problem for you, please let me know because it is a bit more effort for me to um, make sure that the sounds of the game are included. I don't think it's as necessary, but if you want that, if you really think you can't live without that, then let me know before I do that because it would be a shame if you didn't like that. And I'm trying to make videos to appeal to you guys and make them as fun and entertaining 
as I can. And it, it can be quite difficult sometimes, I have to say. Like, I think I get a bit boring with my builds. I, well, I don't know. Do I? I, I f it feels that way. I think everyone is their own worst critic when it comes to creating stuff. And I'm really quite a perfectionist. In fact, I'm really hard, harsh on myself when I make stuff. I'm like, that's not correct and that's dumb. You're a moron, Richard, or Snappy Pancakes, or whatever my name is. Well, yeah. <laughs> and you should be doing this and blah 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 and and yeah sometimes I, I spend hours on something and I come back later and I'm like what on earth am I thinking uh, have I gone fully crazy that would never look real in a real city and this and that I mean I'm sure you guys probably can't really see that sometimes but being on the inside it, it can be quite um, can make me quite angry the creative process is full of many different things and and I think you know I strive to make it as good as I can as as nice as I can but I, I don't like in City Skylines what I don't like is too much areas that have nothing and this game it doesn't look as good when you don't have a lot of detail it's really quite I don't know and and as you can see in some of the parts here um, the, the, the dirt doesn't mix with the concrete very well. You see, I'm struggling and I'm, and I'm changing things all the time. If you like to see artistic struggles change all the time, then I guess this is the channel for you. I've seen some other builders who just literally know exactly, uh, exactly what they want to build and they do it from start to finish. And whenever I'm painting or drawing or making stuff, I change stuff all the time and it can be frustrating you know and I'm usually happy by the end of it I wouldn't um, put it online if I wasn't happy I have so many lost pieces of footage that are just not good enough to show and maybe I will make a, a dumbass edition of, of my let's build you know the stuff that never came out it, it tends to be things like roller coasters like I don't feel very strong in my planet coaster with my roller coasters I've been struggling with my latest build with the roller coaster because I'm never satisfied with it it, it can be a bit of an uphill battle. But this is, you know, since I discovered Service Painter, I've actually been a bit more happy with how things are turning out. Anyway, I think I've gone on long enough, and I'm going to leave it there, and I will see you in part 11, where hopefully more interesting things, or more detailing and more development will be happening, and maybe it won't be a time lapse. Maybe it'll be just a live thing. If you like that idea, please let me know, and if you like what you see, subscribe, because I'm going to make more stuff, and I will see you soon.
Wow, you watched all the video. If you like what you see, click in one of these boxes to see me play Planet Coaster and subscribe if you want to motivate me. And also, thanks for watching.